Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is a beautiful day of the Lord. It is the day of the Lord. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let me get confirmation from those of you who are on Facebook because sometimes our sound was letting us down on these past few days. I want to make sure that you've got my voice before I start. Amen, amen, amen. Anna, thank you so much for joining. Oh, guys, yesterday we had an awesome time in the evening. Those of you guys who missed, you know, we still came on on TikTok. We made sure that everybody joins us. So you guys who missed the makeover session, make sure you don't miss the next one, okay? Make sure you don't miss the next makeover se session. We are going to be growing practically, spiritually, financially, in every single way. Thank you so much for everybody that woke up this morning. Can I just get confirmation on Facebook and on YouTube so that I do not waste any single minute? Those of you who are joining us for the first time, this is the Protocol Breaking Prayers platform. Where, uh, this is the altar where we pray to God. We achieve results. We are driven. We are purpose driven. We are destiny driven. We make sure we get results. Amen. We make sure that we learn the word of God and we apply the word of God and we move with lightning speed on the word of God. Amen and amen. So if you are the kind of person who says, I'm tired of stagnancy in my life, I'm tired of being at the same level, you have come to the right place. If you have been questioning your faith, you have come to the right place. Amen. Okay, so this is the day the Lord has made. Okay, I've got confirmation. Our YouTube people are with us. Our, our Facebook people are with us. You will never regret clicking um watch on this broadcast and you are not here by mistake. So I want you to type in the comment section. I will not be paralyzed. I see my moderators are ahead of me. So make sure you are typing. Type on the comment section. I will not be paralyzed. I will not be paralyzed. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for everybody that has woken up this morning. I thank you for all those who are on different platforms. Father God, we are reaching the gospel, uh, the world with the gospel. Father, we are exercising your mandate. We are depopulating hell. We are populating heaven. We are ready to charge forward. We are ready to move forward. We are ready to become unstoppable vessels. We are ready to spread this gospel like never before. We are ready to become soul winners like never never before. We are ready to make a mark in this generation. We are ready to ensure that the world will know that we existed and we left a legacy. We are ready to make sure that we are not paralyzed. There is no devil that's going to paralyze us. There is no self-sabotage that is going to paralyze us. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody, make sure you are typing in the comment section. I will not be paralyzed. I will not be paralyzed. When you are making that declaration, this morning that you will not be paralyzed. What you are in effect saying, you says, I am unstoppable. I will not be paralyzed. Talk to me, somebody. Help me tell your neighbor. I will not. I will not. I cannot be paralyzed. I will not be paralyzed. I shall not be paralyzed. I am unstoppable. Talk to me, somebody. I will not be paralyzed in Jesus' mighty name. Make sure you are sharing the live broadcast. You are you are, you are clicking like on that screen. Make sure that every single like represents a soul that comes into the kingdom. So you make sure you are clicking like never before. As we charge on with the word as usual, let us take our um, uh, Bibles to the book of Mark. Is it Mark? Yes. Chapter two, verses one. Mark chapter two, verses one. I'm going to start reading from verse one to four. The Bible says, and when he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home and many were gathered together and that there was no room. Hallelujah. They were gathered together. There was not even enough room. Like today, I want you to make sure that every single platform, we make sure people gather that there shall not be enough room. We will make sure that nobody leaves here with any form of 
of paralysis. By the grace of God, I want to pray for those who have been subjected to sleep paralysis as well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we were gathered together so that there was no room, not even at the door. Not even, you know, when, when they talk about an overflow, that there's not even room. You can't get out. You can't get in. You are just there. And there's an overflow. Everything is just compact. In the Bible says that he was preaching the word to them. And that is my assignment this morning that I will preach the word to you and we will pray according to the word. Somebody declare it again. I will not be paralyzed. Hallelujah. Verse three, as you track, he says, and they came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Some people need to say thank you to people that drag them to Jesus because if it was not for somebody, your destiny helper, your family member that said, there's a better life you may not know about. There's a better life that I need to drag you to. I need to let you know. I need to let you know that you don't have to stay in this form of paralysis. You don't accept. You don't have to sit there and accept death and that things are over. Tell your neighbor it's not over. It's not over. You don't have to be paralyzed. It's not over in the name of Jesus. When I trek to verse four of the same scripture, the Bible says, uh, and when they could not get near him because of the crowd, uh, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. Somebody needs to know that there's a position and that and there's a, a, a stance that you need to take when things have not gone well in your life, that you need to make a decision that I will not move until I get the blessing that I came to get from God. I will not move until I get the healing that I need. I will not move until I get the breakthrough that I need. Therefore, if I need to open the roof, if I cannot get to the master, I will make sure that I make and devise other plans. These people were determined. Talk to me, somebody. They removed the roof above them and then they made an opening so that they can let down their friend and they had made up their mind. Somebody who woke up this morning, I hope you woke up with the zeal and the determination that I will not be paralyzed any longer. I will not accept my condition any longer. I will not stay in this condition. I will not allow my loved ones to remain in this condition. For as long as I'm alive, I understand that I'm the... I'm the gap. I'm the watchman between what they are going through and what they need to be. Wherever they need to, they need to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not be paralyzed. Let me talk a bit about paralysis. Paralysis has been defined as the loss of ability to move. Somebody who needs to understand spiritual things. You understand I'm decoding certain things in the spirit realm this morning. You are not able to move and you can see I'm caught between a rock and a hard place paralysis is when you 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 can't feel anything some people are feeling numb but they're saying i've gone through so much pain pastor fortune i don't even feel anything anymore some people are in relationships and marriages where they don't feel anything you are numb the pain is just it's just so much it's just too much pastor fortune i can't even feel anything anymore that whether it is in part of your body whether it is in your mentality it, it, it's a typical it, it's typically a result out of illness when you when you are paralyzed in medical terms they will say okay you drank poison therefore you have no controls of your bodily functions anymore you have no control of your physical function anymore because you don't know you can't control how your body reacts but the devil is a liar the devil is a liar god gave you control he says this is your temple this is the temple of god and nothing by any means shall harm you you will drink poisonous things and they will not harm you you will trample on serpents they will not harm you i want you to to move with the realization that no poison can paralyze you talk to me somebody when somebody has been paralyzed somebody some people get into an injury and they become paralyzed and they have an inability to function properly because the things they could do before they can no longer do after that but if you can apply paralysis to life in your spiritual life in your mental life in your financial life because people get to that point whether you like it or not you have gotten to that point where you are saying oh my god i feel so paralyzed i feel like i can't do anything somebody share in your comment section i will not be paralyzed i will not be paralyzed so paralysis is the an inability to take action it is far deeper than procrastination you have the inability you just feel unable you can't take action hallelujah this can apply to different areas of our lives as i said what are the symptoms of paralysis pastor fortune the first one is that you feel immobility you have the inability to move when i go 
go to my scripture in verse 3, the Bible says, and they came bringing him a, a, a paralytic carried by four men. So imagine four people had to carry one man, hallelujah, to bring him forth. He was unable to move. Do I have any believers who say, Pastor, I have come on across those situations when I felt inability to move? The centurion servant was too paralyzed the same Hebrew word uh, by different interpretation. He was paralyzed. He was in a in, uh, unable to move. Uh, his money could not help him. Doctors could not help him. Medication could not help him. And when you go to the King James Version, it says Matthew chapter 8 in verse 6 of Matthew 8, it says, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth homesick of the palsy, grievously tormented. When somebody has an inaction or inability to move, and when you're in a state of paralysis, uh, you are grievously tormented. Do you understand the bitterness. Some people are sitting on wheelchairs. I want you to have an appreciation and put yourself and your mindset in, a, in the mind of a person who's sitting on a paralytic chair and they've been told they will never walk in their life. Do you understand the grief that they're going through, the torment that they're going through that I used to walk before. I used to be able to make love to my wife and my, or my husband. I used to be able to provide for my children. Now I feel like I'm, an, I'm redundant. I cannot do anything. You need to understand the grief and the torment that you go through. You need to understand. And you take that and translate it to the mental and the spiritual realm. You understand that you've got an, a demon to fight with. You've got evil to fight down. Talk to me, somebody. When I go through the CEV version of Matthew 8, 6, he says, Lord, my servant is at home in such a terrible pain that he can't even move. Imagine that. Another translation says he is in such a terrible pain that he cannot move somebody is, I don't, you don't even have to compare Jesus. There is somebody sitting somewhere right now listening to the sound of my voice. I'm in terrible pain. I'm not even in physical terrible pain, but I'm in mental pain. I'm in a psychological pain. I look at my finances. I feel like I'm dying. I'm in pain. I can't even move. I don't even know what is the next chess move. I don't know where to move the next piece on this board. Oh God, I need your help. Somebody type in that comment section as you continue to declare I will not be paralyzed he was in such terrible pain that he couldn't move I moved to the GNB version of the Bible the Bible says sir my servant is sick in bed and at home unable to move and suffering terribly suffering is something that is terrible nobody can tell me that they enjoy suffering nobody can tell me that they have been so accustomed and comfort they are in a comfort and like oh suffering is just so normal I'm, I'm used to suffering Talk to me, somebody. My God, my God, we need to move out of a point of paralysis. I don't know what has paralyzed you. I don't know what has kept you in bondage. But I want us to thank God this morning that he woke us up with a prophetic word that says, I will not be paralyzed. You will not be paralyzed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray and declare against the spirit of paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. In every form, whatever it comes. Thank you, Father, because after now, after after this meeting today, after these protocol breaking prayers, Lord, my pain and my suffering has come to an end. Somebody declare it with me. My pain and suffering has come to an end. I decree and I declare that all forms of pain and suffering that has been stopping you, that has been immobilizing you, it stops now in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could declare it with me. All pains and forms of suffering that have been stopping your mobility, today it stops this morning, this night, this middle of the day, whatever time zone you are in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and I declare that all limitations that have made it difficult for you, they expire now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and, ex and declare an expiration of everything, every limitation that has stopped you from moving forward. I speak to your legs. I speak to your spiritual, physical legs. I speak to your emotional legs. I speak to your financial legs. I command them to move. I command them to move move again in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to look at whatever has been paralyzing you, whatever has been stopping you, and you look at that thing and say, you will no longer be paralyzed. If it is your bank account that represents your finances, put it in front of you right now and say, you will no longer be paralyzed. You will move and you will grow in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to touch your physical legs. I want you to touch your physical legs right now. It is a it is a, 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 a way of, of, of 
of agreeing with God and standing and, and declaring this word and says, you will move. You will, your legs will move. You will no longer be tied down. I want you to lay hands on your head. I decree and I declare that any spiritual limitation, you will stop now and I will move again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My brain will function again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Better yet, if you are still there and there's somebody who has suffered a stroke in your life, a stroke in your family, right now, wherever they are, mention their name and decree and declare, you will no longer be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. That paralysis that has immobilized you to the extent that you cannot take any initiative, you have you have run out of ideas, you don't know where to start, you don't know where to end. Right now, I command it by the fire and force of Jesus Christ. Lord, deliver them urgently from that paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is, whatever its extent, we don't care what damage it thinks it has caused. Right now, we command by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be removed and let it burn down by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the Lord is delivering you urgently. The Lord is coming. It is a sudden moment. It is an urgent moment. Somebody continue to declare right now in the comment section, I will not be paralyzed. They came. Hallelujah. Lord, we are pleading with you this morning. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It is not an accident that we have come on this broadcast today. It is not an accident that we have received this word today. Whatever it will take before the end of today, before the end of this month, before the end of this year, whatever it will take, Lord, we decree and we pray it through right now. We are saying, move me again, Lord. Move me forward again. Can somebody declare in the comment section, move me again. Move me forward, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When I I trek with the same word in Mark chapter 2 verse 3. Paralysis shows me that paralysis is something that can incapacitate you. When somebody is incapacitated, they are carried by other people. They cannot do things for themselves. And therefore, I rise this morning to decree and declare and pray for somebody. Right now, I prophesy that every loss, every form of loss, every form of loss of ability, every loss of form of energy that you have lost, that has been stopping you right now. I command a restoration. It is coming back to you by divine standard in the name of Jesus Christ. You are being restored in Jesus' mighty name. I command every form of incapacitation that has grounded you and has given you that, that inability thinking that you cannot fly. I decree and I declare that you will fly from today. You will execute what you could not execute before. Anything that was not was clipping your wings and saying you will not fly. Fly. I destroy it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm preaching and prophesying better than you are typing that. Amen. You need to declare it along with me. This is not a plague, play fair. This is a warfare that we are launching out. We are declaring a war on paralysis. Make sure you are declaring in that comment section, I will not be paralyzed. Make sure you are shouting your amen well. Make sure you are clicking that button and depopulating hell and populating heaven. Talk to me, somebody. When somebody is paralyzed, you need to understand that is a person who is dependent on other people for everything. And I don't know about you. Nobody wants to be a burden for somebody else. Nobody wants to remain dependent even when your children are looking after you when you are ill in your body. It does not feel so good because you feel like you are being a burden. Talk to me, somebody. The Bible says they carried him. They brought him. Four men. Hallelujah. Peter's mother-in-law rose up to attend to herself and others. Her paralysis was removed. Akado there comes a point when the God comes in and says, I understand that it is a human and it's an Ubuntu thing for you to have people who are helping you and you can depend on them. But there comes a point when you need to arise like Peter's mother-in-law. Attend to yourself. You need to pray to God this morning and say, God, I have been on this sick bed for too long. I have been around this mountain for too long. I understand that my destiny helpers can come and help me. I understand understand that people can pity me, but I'm not a pitiable case. I need to depend on myself and depend on you alone. I need you to make a way for me so that I can attend to for myself in the name of Jesus. Therefore, God, I pray for you to do you this morning and remove any form of paralysis from myself. Matthew 8, 14 says, when Jesus entered Peter's house, he saw his mother-in-law lying sick with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her and she rose again and began 
began to serve him. Some of you need to take your spiritual authority place in your families and stop delegating things to other people. The reason why you got born again is because you can understand that the same power that is on your pastor, on your prophet, is also inside of you. These signs and wonders shall follow them, those who believe. If you are a believer, go and lay hands on the sick loved ones and believe that they will be healed. You need to exercise the power and authority. Where will you be if your pastor is out of town? You need to exercise that authority and go lay hands on the sick and believe that they will be healed. It is not you who heals them. It is Jesus that heals them. Therefore, if you have proclaimed the word and you have touched them and you have laid and commanded the healing, you move on and you keep on celebrating God. Do not wait to take it. It's not for you. It is him. It is when I pray, I always tell God, it is you who will be ashamed if I'm, I'm, I'm handed out to the dogs. So God, it is your responsibility to honor the word that comes out of my mouth. It is your responsibility to make sure that I'm looked after. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody is getting up to tend to themselves. You are getting up from whatever sickness, whatever sick bed, whatever disability that you have been going through. Father, in the name of Jesus, every form of paralysis that has rendered us naked, that we didn't even know about right now, I command it to stop. Somebody shout, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Somebody shout it out loud, stop it. Every form of paralysis, whether I know it, whether I've identified fight it. Whether I've not identified it, I command it to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single form of nakedness that has made the world to laugh at me, that has made the world to taunt my faith and ridicule my faith. Right now, let the mercy cover me up in the name of Jesus Christ. Did you hear that prayer point? Make sure you are praying it and you command it out loud in the spirit realm. Lord, anything that has caused people to laugh at me, the people to torment my faith and ridicule my faith and tell me my Jesus is not alive. I command that paralysis to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, whatever mistakes that I have made in my life that have made me dependent on people to protect my nakedness in your mercy, Lord, use one event, one event. Somebody type in that comment section, one event. I need one word, one event that will turn it around. That thing that has made me dependent and to ask people just for mere money to buy bread. What is that thing that has made me so dependent that I need to spread my legs for me to feed my children? I need one event. Oh my God, change it around for me. That one event that will make me move away from that gender-based re violent relationship. Give me one word, one event, oh God. I need one event that will move me from this paralysis, this demonic relationships that I have put myself into in the name of Jesus. Do I have people who can identify with what God is prophetically taking me out of? Korea, Sonda, Kalama, Sonda, Kia, Sonda. Somebody is being delivered from a codependency lifestyle where you are sleeping with men just to put food in on, 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 on the tables of your children. You, are, you, you have been busy sleeping around your way at work just to get the promotion. The devil is a liar. One word, one event. Somebody shouted a lot. Lord, give me one event, one event, one event to sort me out, one event to sort me out and sort out this mess. God, I'm tired of asking salt and sugar from my neighbors. Give me one event, one event, oh God, in this day and beyond, in this month, in this year. From now on, I decree and declare that I will be healed. I will be healed. I will be free in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree for you, you will be healed and you will be free in the name of Jesus Christ. You will serve the Lord of God, your God. You will serve humanity. You will be restored, renowned. Hallelujah. Paralysis, I command you to go. Ah, I refuse to be useless. Refuse to be useless. Refuse to be irrelevant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command that paralysis to go. Come on, begin to command that paralysis to go. Paralysis, you must go. I need just one event. One event. One event so that they can and stop congregating in my name and stop saying that they need to help me fill my petrol tank. I need one event, oh God, for them to stop treating me like a pity party. I need one event, oh God, that will make sure that when I show up, I'm celebrated and not tolerated. I need one event that takes me out of this frustration. I need one event to make my in-laws stop saying that I am barren. I need one event. Talk to me, somebody. One event, one event. I see the Lord releasing 
during that one event, that one event, when you come back with a testimony, they have no option, even if they run to their juju priest to try and bring you down. One event, one event. Shout it out out loud again. I will not be paralyzed. That paralysis must go. That paralysis that have subjected you to abuse. Talk to me, somebody. We will no longer be abused. Somebody declare it in that comment section. I will not be abused. I will not be told I'm being loved. Meanwhile, I'm being abused. I can see. I can smell it. I can see it. I can feel it. That this is not a true relationship that is the foundations of God. That I'm just tolerating this person because I just want a sense of belonging. I just want a shelter of my over my head god provide for me give me that one event they came and they brought him that paralytic man just imagine four men said that they are taking you back home they did not go back even when they saw the crowd was full they said the room was full there was no time to enter the door but there's somebody who rose up this morning i rose up this morning to tell you we are breaking through the crowd we are breaking through the roof you are coming to meet the master. You are coming to touch the hem of his garment. You are coming for the overflow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shouted again. Can somebody demand one event from heaven today? Somebody demand one event from the throne of grace. Somebody demand one event from this protocol breaking prayer platform in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every abuse that you have tolerated for years that has been stopping you. It ends now. It ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could shout that amen well shout that amen louder it stops now right now in the name of jesus christ every relationship abuse that you have been under because of perceived no alternative today i want to declare to somebody and announce to you i prophetically declare there is an alternative for you anna there is an alternative for you masiho there is an alternative do you understand that there is an alternative you don't have to be stuck with the man that brings you down. You don't have to be stuck with a woman that is just bringing you down. If that person is not your helper, if that person is not meant for you by God, let them be uprooted and go. We will not be stuck in abusive relationships. If your children have decided to make themselves rebellious or whatever, then they must shift your space. Hallelujah. You did not come to this world to suffer. If you know as a parent you have given enough, you have done all that you can, you have given all that you can, you have made met up with your responsibilities but if they continue to make themselves as crazy people then they must peck and go you must tell them you are a paralysis you need to go if you are a paralysis in my life you need to go you are the problem we need to confront one event oh god one event every relationship of abuse one deliver in me from every abusive relationship come on declare it right now deliver us from every abusive relationship in the mighty name of jesus christ the season of being carried by men to the level where I cannot do anything without them. It ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you have helped me thus far. You carried me to this point. But now, God, I want to enter a season where I carry myself. I want to enter a season where I walk into my blessings myself, that I create things. Talk to me, somebody. I want to to enter a level where nobody says to me that I made you fortune. I made you Anna. I made you Shalati Sophie. No, no, you are that season is ending. Nobody's making you accept God making you. Talk to me, yeah. somebody. My paralysis must end in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree from now, the destiny of fortune, Kali Amasonda, will not be in the hands of any man. I decree right now, the destiny of Anaga Bengele will not be in the hands of any man. I decree right now, the destiny of, of, of Apostle Mara shall not be in the hands of any man. Talk to me, somebody. Paralysis, you must go. When somebody is paralyzed, child of God, it means that they lack freedom. How am I doing for time? Are we still good? Are you tired? I know you cannot be tired because I know I'm, I'm preaching to the remnant of God. I'm preaching to those who are intercessors who are watchmen who are saying we will fight this fight and we are winning we we don't fight fights that are not strategic we are strategically positioned in the name of jesus christ we will not let freedom in the name of jesus that paralysis must go somebody command that paralysis go paralysis go hey they say when they could not get near him because of the crowd paralyzed people do you understand that people who are paralyzed are beggars have you ever seen a paralyzed person eight ninety nine command nine nine percent 
center. They are begging somewhere. They ha- do not have option. They have no choices. They have to beg to live. That shall not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, on a very serious and urgent note, we have come today to petition you. Give us full freedom to be unstoppable. Somebody declare it right now. Father, give me full freedom to be unstoppable in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalm 125, for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity. Oh, let me say that again. He said, for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The lot, what is supposed to help happen to the wicked people? It cannot happen to you, Bridget, in the name of Jesus Christ. The lot of the wicked cannot happen to the lot of the righteous. I rise this morning to declare, we are the righteousness of God. We have no doing and no portion with the lot of the wicked. My God, my God, lest the righteous be put forth, put forth their hands into iniquity. God will not allow you to get to the point that you participate in iniquitous acts. In iniquitous act, you will not have to kill somebody. You will not have to bribe somebody. You will not have to sleep with somebody. Talk to me, somebody. Receive your full freedom. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the rod of the evil ones resting on the lots of my loved ones. I command you to be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of your family members are going under a pressure pot. They're in a pressure pot. They need you to do, to declare this for them. They need you to pray this through for them and declare that any lot of the wicked that is resting upon them, let it be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil hand that wants to make sure that you keep on struggling, I cut them off right now. Any evil hand that wants to keep you struggling. I cut it off right now. I cut it off right now. Any form of paralysis that has been keeping you perpetually in sin, stop now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be a habitual sinner, a habitual follower participating in iniquitous acts. You are cut off. You are cut off. Whatever form of paralysis you are, you are cut off in Jesus' mighty name. When paralysis, the paralysis you are fighting, children of God, this morning is the type of paralysis where it wants to render you powerless. Somebody say, I shall not be powerless. I shall not be powerless. Talk to me. Don't be tired. We are almost there. Hallelujah. I will not be powerless. Hallelujah. Mark Mark chapter 2, 4 says, and when they could not get get near him because of the crowd. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prey must be delivered. We must be delivered. The prey must be paralyzed. People cannot fight for themselves. Someone who cannot even move cannot fight or defend themselves. I come against the spirit of powerlessness. Come on, begin to pray this prayer. Father, I shall not be powerless. I will be able to defend myself. You, I will be able to be with you and stand there in that battlefield, knowing that the battle is not mine. The battle is yours. You will be, you are the one who carries power. In your power, I receive that power. I operate in the power in the dunamis of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Father, I come against every power that has been winning against me up until now. I don't know why they have been toying around with me. Lord, I come against every single form of power. Whatever they are, wherever they came, oh God, today it stops. I come against it right now. Any power that has kept me in captivity, I command it to stop right now. God, we come to you this morning. We say, rescue us now. If there was ever a rescue mission that is worth performing, today rescue us now. Lord, take us to the exit take us to the extraction point right now we have come on this protocol breaking prayer altar that we are being extracted from captivity in the name of Jesus Christ the forces of heaven have come out in full force they are pulling you out in the name of Jesus Christ you are being pulled out from the lion's den this morning in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is delivering you from whatever has been captiving you or or putting you in captivity in the name of Jesus Christ people pokoria basonda ikalama sonda you shall no longer be hopeless. Depression cannot be your portion. Do you understand that paralysis leads people to, to, to become uh, uh, hopeless? It leads people to become depressed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Imagine what they were going through when they could not get to the crowd. Maybe you were lying on that sick bed like that man and says, oh my God, I don't think I'm going to get my miracle. My friends have gotten me thus far, but I don't know. I'm so hopeless. Oh God, I thought I was going to be able to at least to see the master. I thought I would I would be able to, to hear the word. I thought I'd be able to pray through this thing. I thought I'd be able to receive a touch from Jesus. Oh Jesus, when a man tries repeatedly and does not succeed, he is a paralyzed man. Do you understand when you 
you have tried and tried again? Do you understand when you have sent so many applications that you don't even have money to go to the email, uh, uh, to the internet cafe to even send anything again? I'm talking to those people this morning. I'm talking to the people who are saying, oh God, remove this paralysis. This paralysis must go. I have tried repeatedly, pastor. I have been working so hard. Come to Jesus this morning. Come to Jesus. Let Tell him, God, give me a solution. If I don't have to have a career, I have to have a business. God, give me a solution. Open up my mind. Open up my ideas. Let me think, oh God, tell me... Help me realize the talents and the skills that are inside of me. What is it that I need to develop inside of me to create wealth? What is it that I need to develop inside of me to create the kind of person that I need to be? What do I need to change, to change, to make myself more assertive and take myself out of this abusive relationship? I will no longer tolerate paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. The crowd was full. It was it was bad. It was just, it, it was just bad every I almost used the word that, oh my God, Makelia Sotakaria Bashanda. Matthew 4 24 says, So his fame was spread throughout all of Syria, and they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, those oppressed by demons, those having seizures and paralytics, and he healed them. I want you to understand the God that you serve. I want you to understand the God that woke me up this morning, that woke you up this morning, that made sure we congregate here this morning. This is a God that heals the seek. This is a God that delivers those who are afflicted. This is a God that heals various diseases and pains regardless of whatever they are, regardless of them being said they are terminal in the name of Jesus Christ. This is a God that you came to meet this morning that says, I deliver those who are oppressed by demons. You will no longer be oppressed by demons in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the God that says that any seizure that is, I did not put seizures when I created you, even in your children. This is a God that says, I heal the paralytic. I heal those with diseases and seizures. I command those who have been hit by stroke right now in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are in that household and you know there's somebody there, rush to them with that phone, with your belief. Do not doubt. Lay hands on them. I command you to live. I command you to live. I command you to live. I command the paralysis to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever stronghold of hope in your life, whatever it has done, whatever shadow it has cast around you, I command light to shine right now. That darkness is being removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is being removed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Let me pray for those. Mm who are saying, oh my God, oh my God. Shakoria Masonda. Can you declare it once more? Kala Soto Koria Masonda. Paralysis go. I will not be paralyzed. I will not be paralyzed. I will not be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Your legs are being released. Your legs are being released. Oh Lord, we have come out in agreement to break and remove all forms of spiritual paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kashonda Kila Brasoto Kodia Ikala Basonda Facebook how is your pulse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Muchengeti you will no longer be powerless in the name of Jesus Nyawa you will not be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ you are coming out of any form of spiritual paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ Oh Don Sigalelo you will no longer be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that paralysis must come to an end Vimbai it must come to an end Sheila Machiri, your paralysis has come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. One event, somebody shout one event once more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Happy one event. Hanimwape, one event. It's Anna, one event. Ovi, one event, one event, one event. Gundo, all my moderators, Amelia, everybody, wherever you are. Past Apostle Maro, one event, Akalia Masonda, you will no longer be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered. Oh, Jesus, your legs are delivered. Your head is delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Koshekitikida Masonda, Ayabababababababashiondelesioto, Rosho Kotia Masete Kila Baha, Razoto Konde Kida Masonda Kila Bayese, Ikala Masonda. I speak to everybody that has been subjected to. Sp- 
sleep paralysis where you feel like there's an attack coming on you. You are being put inside a pit and you can't come out right now. I command that paralysis to stop and the, the, the devil will stop messing against you, with you. The Lord, the Lord is stopping that marine spirit from subjecting you into that paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody keep on declaring one event. We cancel all assignments of sleep paralysis. We come out in agreement with other saints right now. We command every form of sleep paralysis to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. We break all triggers. We break the fear of men. We break every fear of women, whatever it's coming from. We break the fear of rejection. We break the fear of resentment. We break the fear of defilement. We break the fear of the loss of innocence in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, we break the curses of divorce in our bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the curses of adultery. We break the curses of defilement of marriages, defilement of the marriage bed in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has been coming against you and putting you into a sleep paralytic state and making you have attacks that you can see, this is not moving forward. Some of you, you have seen structures of people right next to you in while you are sleeping in your bed and you don't know who is this person and you just know that this is a dark force right now. We command all that to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. In this atmosphere of healing and this atmosphere of deliverance, receive your deliverance. Speak to your stomach pain right now, Rafaeleta. In the name of Jesus Christ, that thing that is trying to stay in there is demonic. It has to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, be, be released from the prison of trauma. Be released from the paralysis of bad memories in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is in your bloodline that has been keeping you in a paralytic state, right now I command it to be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Abandonment in that in, in that bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That feeling of being unappreciated. That feeling of being unloved. Oh God, we break the cause right now. Anything that is not is stopping us from progress, we break it off right now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep declaring, keep declaring. Paralysis is gone. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Mighty Caleb says, I'm free from any paralysis. Get out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. That paralysis is gone in Jesus' mighty name. That paralysis is gone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, thank you. I declare that you will progress in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I want to thank you for these ones that have come out today. Thank you, Lord, for the freedom and the breakthrough that you have brought. Thank you, Lord, that our lives will be progressive. We are free in Jesus' name. We are free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you blessed us to be fruitful and multiply. Thank you, Lord. Paralysis is gone. I like the testimonies that I'm seeing. You are free from paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you for using me as a vessel to carry out your word this morning. Father, these prayers that we have sent forth, we thank you, Lord. We call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Paralysis is gone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bless you. As we go out and set out in the day, Father, I declare and decree progress. I declare and declare that, Lord, we shall be successful. Promotion shall follow us. Success, prosperity all round. We live in a divine state in Jesus' mighty name. Divine prosperity is our portion. It is our portion. It is final. It is final. We declare we are free. Thank you for our liberty and freedom in Jesus' mighty name. Okay. We might get a part two of this. We might do a part two of this maybe tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you on Facebook and YouTube, please make sure you're following the host account where you are. Make sure you click like on the videos and make sure you watch the replays. Those of you on TikTok, if you want to watch the replay, please make sure you go to the YouTube Go to the profile, click on the profile. There is a YouTube link, follow the YouTube link, okay? We're going to work on putting our WhatsApp group link also on the profiles on TikTok so that it's easier for you to just click and join them. Yesterday, we had an awesome time. We were discussing personal finances from the perspective of God. 
We had an awesome time. We had awesome testimonies and people came out and it was amazing. So don't miss the next session. Okay. Make sure you join the WhatsApp group so that you don't miss out on any notification on anything that we are doing. Thank you so much, Shalati Sophie. Thank you. Part two is coming. I, I can feel that I'm not done and I don't want to hold you up for another hour. So God is not done. We need to deal with this paralysis. In Jesus' mighty name. But you are free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you guys. I love you so much. Have an awesome day. Don't forget to be awesome. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Okay, bye-bye.